What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Raymond Chaka Forever. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm about another video. Before I get into that video, I want to remind everyone that I leave a link to a different playlist in the every description box. Take the time to click on those links, run the views up, run the thumbs up up, run the comments up. And if you need to share the playlist, feel free to share the playlist. Most importantly, hit that subscribe button. Today, I'm about another video. Today, I'm sharing my thoughts on lost settlement reach in 2017 wrongful death lawsuit of Kanika Jenkins. I'll say that one more time. Settlement reach in 2017 wrongful death lawsuit of Kanika Jenkins, the 19 year old who was found dead in the, in the hotel freezer in Chicago. Now, I want to read the article because when I, when I seen this article on Instagram, the first thing I did was just say it to my watch later section on Instagram. That's all I did. So, I want to show y'all the article. I'm talking about, I'm pretty sure everyone will remember this case. Everyone trying to crack this case. I mean, we had so many investigators on YouTube that were trying to trying to um, crack this case. So, now I want, to, I want to see what happened. How did that come to the settlement? It was an article. Okay. I want to read it real quick. A settlement has been reached in the 2017 wrongful death lawsuit of Kanika Jenkins, the teenage girl who was found in the Morgan freeze of a Chicago hotel. According to Cook County court records, the settlement was reached in August. However, it has not been entered on the court docket as attorney for Jenkins' mother, Teresa Martin, had requested that the terms of the agreement be sealed from the public. Now, she want an agreement to be sealed from the public. It's a reason behind that. I'm pretty sure there's a reason behind that. Additionally, on Tuesday, October 3rd, Circuit Judge Thomas Cushing denied the request but continued to ask Jenkins' mother's attorney to resubmit the request. In the meantime, the status hearing in the case has been scheduled for next week with a trial set for October 16th. On September 10, 2017, 19-year-old Jenkins was found dead at the Crown Plaza Hotel in Rosemont, Illinois. Surveillance, footage, surveillance video footage showed her walking near the freezer. According to an autopsy report, she died of hepromenia inside the hotel walking freezer while attending a party at the location. With as many as 30 other people on the ninth floor, Following Jenkins' death, her mother has been actively advocating for the terms of the settlement to remain confidential and sealed from the public eye. In Jenkins' mother's lawsuit, she is suing the hotel, its security company, and the restaurant that was potentially leasing the space where her daughter's body was found. The lawsuit asserts negligence on the part of the defendants, alleging that they all failed to secure the walk-in freezer adequately and conduct a proper search when Jenkins was first reported missing. According to the lawsuit, Jenkins' body was discovered about 24 hours after her family had contacted both the hotel and the police to report her being missing. Jenkins' death has raised several questions among friends and relatives about whether or not there was foul play. However, law enforcement officials have concluded that, that, that her death was accidental. Now, that leads to a lot of questions. How was her death an accident? And it was an accident while no one's being charged. Yes, the hotel, the restaurant forgot to lock the freezer. Um, yes, that area of the hospital was, or the hotel was too easy for her to get access to, like too easy. You telling me nobody never noticed her walking around on camera from all these different places coming downstairs to the kitchen. Nobody never noticed none of this. Nobody never noticed none of that. There's so many questions still on the table. A lot of questions wasn't revealed. But most of them, I would like to know how, how much, what kind of money did her mom settle for? Because that's the reason, I believe that's the reason she want to seal. That they gave her a large amount of money and she don't want nobody to know about it. She don't want nobody to know about it. I wouldn't have believed that. I wouldn't have believed that. Because that, that hotel should be shut down. That hotel should be shut down. That girl was found dead in the freezer. In the walk-in cooler. Huh? Already drunk and everything. So that's why she wasn't able to get out. She got in there. seeing how cold it was. Just lay down. For, probably felt comfortable. Like, like she was at home in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in her room. In the cold. And went to sleep. Never woke up again. 
Like, this still leads to a million questions. But if this justice for her family, hey, it's justice for her family. You know, I, I would like to know more. I would definitely like to know more. Why did it say they were 2017, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, six years later? To six years later, for them to come to a settlement. Six years it took for them to come to a settlement. That there is shocking in itself right there. That alone is shocking to me in itself. But it's not it's not official yet. Because they haven't made it to the dockets. So it ain't official. But I'm pretty sure it'll be official sooner or later. But I didn't want to bring y'all that update. Uh, for a shout out. My shout out video the last Sunday in October. Tell me in the comments how you feel about this update. How you feel about this, this settlement. Do you feel that's enough? Just set out to settle for some money and keep it moving. Do you feel that's enough? Do you feel that her death was accidental? I don't believe it was accidental. Only accident is that they they let the cool unlock. You know what I mean? They let the cool unlock because most most restaurant they put a lock in it and lock it where it can't be open. But this is where that wasn't done. You know, so that means anybody can walk down into the coolers and steal whatever they want in any hotel. So tell me in the comments how you feel about it. And I give you a shout out in my shout out video the last Sunday in October. Also, I do leave it. If you like this video, remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Make sure you turn on post with notifications that we be notified every time I upload a new video. I do leave a link to a different playlist in every description box. Take the time to click on those links, run the views up, run the thumbs up up, run the comments up. And if you feel the need to share the playlist, feel free to share the playlist. Most importantly, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Help me grow my fan base and hit that subscribe button and turn on post with notifications.